A HOMELESS CAMP ON THE EDGE OF THE CHINATOWN INTERNATIONAL DISTRICT WAS CLEARED TODAY AFTER HEARING MANY COMPLAINTS FROM NEIGHBORS. BUT WILL THESE CLEANUPS CONTINUE? KYRA SEVENS GRAHAM JOHNSON TELLS US IT COMES AS THE SEATTLE CITY COUNCIL CONSIDERS NEW LIMITS ON CLEARING CAMPS. Today, city crews cleared out a sprawling camp at 12th and Weller. We have been here doing intensive outreach for several weeks. Leaders of Seattle's navigation team say 26 people were here when they arrived this morning. All of those people have been offered shelter. I feel safe once again. Curtis Marr talked with me from his car repair shop, wanting to thank the city. Here's how the camp out front looked two days ago, full of trash, needles, and human waste. It's me, my customers, and all the people around in the neighborhood that work here that, are, that have to deal with the safety and health concern. There's been shootings. City officials say this encampment has seen a homicide, stabbings, assaults, and gunfire. More than 2,600 people signed this Chinatown International District safety petition calling for the cleanup. I think it's deplorable that we allow human beings to live this way. I would not let my dogs live like this. Neighborhood leaders are also organizing against a proposal by their district's own city council member, Tammy Morales. She's sponsoring a bill that would block most camp removals on public and private property during the pandemic. Morales cites CDC guidelines that people in encampments should remain where they are and that dispersing people could spread COVID-19. Morales' proposal does allow a few exceptions for clearing camps, but public safety is not one of them. The mayor's office says the city has already limited camp removal during the pandemic and is following CDC guidelines that governments should weigh all risks. In a letter to the council, Deputy Mayor Mike Fong wrote that in his 20 years at City Hall, this bill is as poorly drafted and analyzed as I've ever seen. I'd like to know from the city council how they feel this is a, an acceptable or respectful way for people to live. For the second time this week, Cairo 7 asked council member Tammy Morales for an interview. Today I was told she did not have time, but that she had been meeting with leaders of the Chinatown International District. Council members Teresa Mosqueda and Shama Sawant also support her bill. Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.